They can hear me. And is they can hear you. We're on. We're now discussing. Um, so so real quick, pull up chat. We are playing Love Hunt, Minecraft Love Hunt. Oh, yes. Here it is. Ta-da. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna see how this goes, cause cause he told me about it. Um, and I'm gonna be honest. I'm interested in it, cause I'm not big into dating simulators, but I think it's gonna be interesting. Um, oh, I love dating simulators. Okay. Um, okay, so you let me pick. Yeah, you, who, so we have to go through either Sapnap or George to get to Dream, sadly. Um, so who do you want to do first? Because we could do good endings for both, both Sapnap and George. And then do the bad endings and then... Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what we can do is we can start it and then once it gets to the point where we choose the route, I can tell you like Say where that. the point is where we choose the route and then I can okay. then we can kind of choose there. Okay, cuz we could probably like do a save state and then get right back to it when needed. Yes. Okay. Um cool. what uh, who's voicing who is the question. Um, so I think somebody should voice the main character, and then somebody should voice the love interests. Well, Or hmm. are they all talking there, at once? There are four characters, so why not one of us okay. take two, the other takes the other two. Okay. I could take main character and Dream, because I assume that Dream's not going to have a lot of talking parts. And then you could well, take I... Sapnap and George? Or do you want me to do Sapnap so you can live out your fantasy again? Well, I was going to say, why don't you do George? Because you always slip into that British accent. Okay. <laughs> it just makes sense, you know? Yeah, I slip into a British accent, not the British accent. And I've been told it is a terrible British accent um, by a Scot himself. So... <laughs> okay so, then yeah. I can do um George then and you okay. can do Seth Knapp. Okay. And then which one of us is going to be the main character and I'll which do one main of us is going to be Dream? This is my stream. You can be the Okay, then I will be George and Seth Knapp. I mean George and Dream. Okay. Cool. Whoa. Perfect. That took a lot longer. <laughs> Oh, okay, anyway, so normally start. sorting out voices and dating sims do take quite the long. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, me and uh, my friend like legit have a list in our DMs of like how um, who's playing who in like Dream SMP fanfics. No joke. Me and my me and my friend we um, play dating sims all the time, and she keeps a notebook of which characters we are and the improvs we did oh my god so that we can keep it consistent while playing that is amazing yeah i should probably put on my glasses um i have some issues when i reading when i don't have fair, fair. so anyways i'm gonna get started um 8 45 p.m 8 59 right that is not working <laughs> Let me switch to... Yeah, that's gonna have to be what we're gonna deal with, because that is not particularly happy. Is that better? What the heck is going on? Um... Oh. Wow. Okay. There we go. Um, you stretch in your seat in the process of getting ready for a match of Hypixel with your friends when you've gotten a notification on your phone. When you've got a notification on your phone? Gotten um, is proper. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because it's past tense, got is not. True. Also, um, we're, if there's any dot dot dots, we're taking a drink. Um, it was alert from oh, Twitch. No. Your favorite streamers are online. You finish setting up and proceed to wait for your friends in the lobby. Thinking that they're taking quite a long time, you decide to put the stream up on your phone. 
<laughs> you're watching dream. <laughs> Am I dream? Wait, you're a dream. Because I'm sad. Oh, now. wait, yes, I'm dream. Yes. Also, we're going to have to name ourselves. The last time I played this was with a friend, and we just combined our usernames, so it's up to you what we name ourselves this time. Okay, so I played a game um, called, like, Vincent the Secret of Myers, and the character, um, the main character you had to name, um, even though they had, like, a name eventually anyways, but um, basically I named her Poopy. So I'd love to do something along those lines. <laughs> when um when I do like games with friends where we have to name the character, um I have a signature name with each friend. So one of my one of my friends, our signature name is Shimp Shrimp Cat. Another one is Mystery Mint. Both are like combinations of usernames we have. Um so Is this an iPhone? I think it is. Okay, anyways, you got a voice. Oh, yes. Hi, hello, welcome to the stream, guys. Voice acting is not my strong suit. Obviously. I'm here with George and Sapnap. Say hi. Hi. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, you're uh, George. Yeah. Hi. I've already forgotten. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry. British Sapnap I'm sorry, it was an accident. I slip into it. Um, anyways. I mean, most of the time when I'm voicing it a character, I make them British too. Don't worry. Fair. We'll be doing another Minecraft challenge for this stream. This challenge, we coded it so that we... So my anyway. voices began to fade out as your eyelids start to feel heavy. You try to... Fight against the urge to shut your eyes, but it was proven futile as you felt your body fall back from your seat, completely blacking out. Oh, so somebody drugged you. Food. You let out a grunt as you fell on your, felt your back collide with the ground. You assumed that you landed on your apartment floor until you heard three different voices above you. That was a really harsh fall. Do you... Do you think they're okay? I don't know. I don't know, Dream. I don't... Why don't you try landing a 140 block fall with no MLG? Dream? That even sounds familiar. Sound effects ringing in my ear, ear just... was just as familiar, too. Begin to stir awake and attempt to open your eyes. Wait, guys! <laughs> They're waking up, I think. Also, by the way, um, I have troubles reading. Also, this is not screen capping in any form. What the heck? Why is this not screen crap? Can you, like, see it on your screen? On mine? Like, through the... Yeah, is it, like, coming yeah. through in any form? On mine, on my screen, through the call, like the share screen, yeah. it's coming across perfectly. I know, but f can you see it on stream stream? Uh, just updated. Hmm. Interesting. Anyways. By the way, I forgot to mention, there are a few instances where the creators of the game ripped audio from videos oh, and Oh yeah, streams. I just heard that. Yeah. I heard it. By the way, I'm also going to be pretty bad at reading and like stumbling because I was starting to get a headache because I've been wearing my glasses all day, so I had to take Perfect. them off. Okay, so I think... Oh, this is gonna be difficult to do because this is not picking up for some reason. I love the art style in this game. That's different. Anyways, um, you were met with three familiar faces looking down at you in concern. Hey, are you okay? Here, let me help you up. You are brought up to your feet by the tall male in front of you, your arms immediately flailing about as you try to regain your balance. 
You then begin to pat the dirt off of your pants as you come to the realization that you you are surrounded by three of your favorite content creators. I have an idea. Both of our both of our Minecraft skins have like skirts or dresses, so this is very inaccurate. But continue. Oh yeah. Ooh, what's going on now? Come on, give me options. Okay. So we want I'm gonna try and get windowed. But I'm having to do this like through there we go. Oh, thank the Lord. Okay. This should be better. That's Maybe. Not what I want. Okay, that works, I guess. Um doing that. Okay, so we might not be able to see the sides, perhaps. But this should be fine now. Okay, return. Okay, cool. That is working. Wonderful. Anyways, continue. You're probably so con- I'm doing- <laughs> Dream is now Sonic. Okay. <laughs> You're probably so confused right now. Um... To be honest, he is Sonic. <laughs> True. I go by Dream. What's yours? What's this your dream? Really What's your go by? <laughs> Um, <laughs> buddy, buddy, pal. <laughs> Two brain cells. Neither of them are there. <laughs> yeah, they're the, George and Sapnap have the brain cells. Okay. What is your name? What is a name we will laugh at every time we see it? Um. <laughs> Tansy Smasher Three Thousand. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you you introduce <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Dream Prince. Yes. I <laughs> <laughs> go by Dream. What is your name? You I know, go I'm by Tansy Smasher 300. <laughs> I'm gonna be mortified if we ever meet the, the trio and they just start referring to us as Tansy Smasher 3000. I would oh, laugh okay. my head off if that actually happened. I'd be like, Same. Oh, why did you watch that for one and two? How did you get a hold Tansy of it? It's been Smasher. deleted off Twitch for so long. Oh, I bought. Oh no. So yeah. Um, anyways. Tansy Smasher 3000 <laughs> at 300. Nice to meet you. Oh my Dream gosh, when the romance comes in, oh, it's gonna be beautiful. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're so pretty, Tansy Smasher 300. <laughs> <laughs> Dream was then pushed over to the side by a brunette who had a bandana tied around his forehead. He seemed to be a really energetic person. Hi there, Tansy Smasher 300. <laughs> I'm Sapnap. <laughs> Sap nap! You didn't have to shove me! You just weren't quick enough to move out of the way. You bash, bashfully nodded and waved back at the two who both began to bicker. You heard a sigh coming from your right and looked towards a shorter brunette. I'm really sorry for these two. This is all completely normal. I'm George. Pleasure to meet you, Tansy Smash at 300. This is why naming your person so weird is the best thing ever. Because every time you see it, it's just Tansy Smash. Definitely. You know, if I get big, that means that there's good chance that somebody's gonna name their um, all Minecraft account Tansy Smasher 300. Not unless I change my guest account to Tansy Smasher 300 first. I kind of wanted a fan because that'd be hilarious. <laughs> True. Anyways, <laughs> Jerson cleared his throat loudly enough for the other two to hear. So, what's our plan? Ugh, now. 
I went southern British somehow. What's the plan now? <laughs> you gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are just too much. <laughs> Obviously, we're stuck in a, in a Minecraft world, but can't we stay here forever? But we can't stay here forever. Fluster, Dream and Snap Map had fixed themselves and focused on the situation at hand. How do they... How do you think we can get out of this? Any ideas? Seems that they have discussed this beforehand. You had arrived... Before you had arrived. Confirming that everyone was there from the real world and was not a bot built into the game's code. Seeing you fall from, apparently, 140 blocks high also served as enough evidence that you two were real to them. Moment of silence had passed for a while as all four of you tried to think of a solution. Free the end? Everyone turned to dream. The what? The end. We find the stronghold, beat the dragon, and free the end. Just like how we usually do in our challenges. I'm not sure if this will get us back, but it's worth a try, right? But then it's up to us, stream. We're not our characters anymore. We're actually people stuck in their places. We can't just die and respawn, zero hearts, and we disappear. How are you so sure of that, though? How are you so sure about that? Oh. <laughs> that was my Are cynical. you dream in disguise? <laughs> I don't know if we talked about this, but dream is somebody I would love to fight, just because... Anyways, um... <laughs> that was legit just me being cynical of, like, how do you think... Like, mm, Anyway, <laughs> we don't know if that's true. Trying to keep a male voice in an American accent is really hard. Oh yeah, sapped up out of the blue, proceeded to punch George. A glimpse of George's health had appeared on, on top of his head for a split second with his heart, last heart split in half. Drew's face faltered at this. Of all people, Sapnap, you really had to choose. So, if we're going to fight this, finish this game, we all have to be careful. You nodded along, gazing up to see that you had half of your entire health bar down due to your fall earlier. Oh. <clears throat> Alright. Then let's split up since it's almost nighttime. I'll go mine oars. George, you go get us as much wood as you can. Sapnap, find us a proper place to reside for now. Reside in for now. And we have no job. As the three of them either went their separate ways, you were left on your own. You wanted to help out too, so you decided to... Okay, this is where we pick okay. our route. If we if we wander around, we choose Sapnap. If we get wood, we choose George. Okay. Personally, I think the Sapnap route is better, but the George route is also pretty darn good, so... Which it's... do you want to experience first, honey? I've already experienced both routes, and we know how much I experienced one of the routes, so. <laughs> so do we want to do this one to get it over with, or this one? I think we do the George route first, so okay. get wood. Get wood. You decide to walk around the path. Jo path ugh. Walk towards the path George had taken, one leading deeper into the forest bio. Hansy smash a three fat three hundred. So you decided to catch up with me. Oh, as you um as you went from the opposite side of the trees, he was getting materials from starting to break it down. 
I'm so glad you went with me. This way we can get more supplies a lot faster. Yeah, that's why you were happy, George. Like, sure. <laughs> you smile at him as you went to another tree to gather more materials. After a bit of silence passed between you two, George spoke up once more. So you play Minecraft? I'm pretty sure you know of us. By the way, I just put on a random shirt from inside of my dresser on top of my pajamas. Oh, what is it? It's just a shirt. It was oh. inside of the drawer. My cat opened the drawer to burrow inside of it, and it's still open, so I just grabbed the shirt and put it on on top of my pajamas. Uh. Is there anything you like to do in particular that got you into it? I'm quite interested in coding, actually. I just happen to like the game. It's focused on getting more wood. Okay, which do you think is the best option? Because I already know I think the best coding option. is the good option. Do you want to call in a lifeline, or is that your final answer? Um... Because I don't think I just happen to like the game would be good. Because this would actually is part of... I feel like I'm having... Like, I'm on a game show. Like, <laughs> explaining my answer. Like, I'm pretty sure it's this one because he likes to code. Right? Is that your final answer, or do you want a lifeline? How many lifelines do I get? <laughs> it's an infinite number, it's just... Okay, just, like, if I say, like, is it this, you can either say yes or no. Yes. Okay. That's, like, the most I need. Um, you haven't actually had any experience in doing it, per se, but you would like to tackle it someday. Ooh, I feel called out here. Um, and Minecraft seems like a good start for you. A blank slate for different mods you can create. What the heck? Why, why, why is he standing <laughs> like this? He's like, well, this tree isn't it sensual? We're here to get No, he's alone. just I'm like, coding. oh, <laughs> coding, huh? Cool. I just, like, this picture is just so funny to me, because he looks like, oh, you like coding, huh? Jacket slips. <laughs> Buddy! Just like, oh, that's that, don't worry about that. Just... You like coding. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <coughs> Maybe once we get out of here, I can try teaching you the basics. I know quite a lot about it. I know quite a lot about it. Wake. <laughs> oh, you know quite a lot, don't you? <laughs> Hearing him sound so excited, it makes you look forward to getting out of here together even more. You bite your lip in an attempt to fight the flesh. Uh, tried to raise to your cheeks. Oh my gosh, this is. Uh, uh, he he was guess. quite sensual with that tree. Okay? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make a wood joke, but I shouldn't. Uh, <laughs> but you feel like the amount of material you've gotten was enough. You peer back and see George waiting for you to finish up. So, did they actually have like pockets in this? Like, I'm curious the know. logistics of this. Like, do they have to, like, figure out how to shove a bunch of blocks in their pocket? Or do I they, like... don't know. It's just a... the game is an excuse <laughs> for you to date Dream <laughs> George and Sapnap in Minecraft. So? <laughs> Does it have physics? No. It's wish fulfillment. Okay, fine, fine. Bring Let's head back, <laughs> You know as you both make your way back when Sapnap had called out. Guys, I found a ruined portal! Both of your heads snap towards the direction of where Sapnap's voice resonated and bound over to his area. I love how we're all like, I love how they're all like anime boys, but in Minecraft. Oh yeah. Like, like it's anime boys, but it's like actual Minecraft as the background. Oh yeah. It's like, Next time. I guess it works. <clears throat> As everyone reunited, they had huddled around the ruined portal. Jim and George had exchanged the materials they had obta obtained, successfully created a crafting table. Ah. Wait, 
They should have crafted a table before, because Dream would have needed pickaxe, and you and George would want Don't an axe. Don't question it. <laughs> I'm an actual Minecrafter here. <laughs> Anyways, um, Dream creates enough stone axes and pickaxes for everyone to be able to defend themselves when needed. Stone? Oh, buddy. You should have got at least iron for at least our character, because you have no idea how terrible we are at the game. Um, George then slashes that crafting ta stashes the crafting table in his inventory. Now, let's see what the chest has in store for us. He motions to sap up to take the lead. Renette bounded over to the chest, buried in between the nether rack opening the lock up and revealing the items locked in by the way i should say this is very fan fiction with how they describe the characters by oh, yeah. their hair color oh yeah 100 percent. so what do we got um a gapple there's also flint and steel a few golden ingots an enchanted gold helmet and some obsidian blocks Septon then quickly swept a hand into the chest before anyone could speak up. I call dibs on the flint and steel! George rolls his eyes before approaching the chest. Then I'll grab the helmet. Dream was the last to approach the chest, bringing out the two remaining items. He holds them both in his hands as if it weighed his choices. Here, Tansy Smasher 300. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is so great. Um, he tossed the golden apple to you. He glanced at it for a second before looking back up towards the blonde. He simply smiled back at you. We're not gonna reply in any words. We're not gonna speak this whole entire time. Are we mute? <laughs> You'll need it more than I do. Uh, we talk at the very end of the game, like, I yeah. think. No, we don't. I don't think we talk the entire time. We had technically the answer. Um, that like, That's it. Yeah. Besides, they'll be handy later on. You're about to speak up when you hear the sound of groaning was heard all around you. Three of you had lost track of the eye time as night came upon all of you numerous mobs have begun to spawn also real quick we're in a jungle biome yeah jungle biomes are really hard to find well i mean you're you still have the possibility of spawning in or next to one yeah but i mean like it's very like a small chance as well as like I see, like, they must have well, to walk so far to find this. Okay, so this was released around the time where you couldn't spawn into the game without spawning in a jungle. Well, yeah, you can't do that. Like, you can't spawn without a jungle. But I mean, like, it's, it, like, near impossible to spawn in the middle of a jungle, but also in the middle of a forest. There was a point- okay, so you have to understand that this is a really old game. Fair, fair. So there was a point in time where it was really common to spawn in or right next to a jungle. Oh, and true, that is the true. period of- that is the period of time that this game was created. Okay, fair, fair. Um, the three of you lost track of time as night come upon all of you. Numerous mod have begun to spawn. Guys. There's a village down there. Here. Find a one block hole. That's my marker. Upon hearing this dream had already sprinted ahead, leaving everyone else to follow his lead. As you all ran, you heard a yelp from somebody behind you. Dream's a jerk in this game, by the way. Ah! He's probably a jerk in real life, but like... George!
George was worse. Sorry, I had somebody in chat. Um, Diggy. I have chat up as well. Fault. That's your own fault, buddy. Um, you need a refollow? Um... Anyways, George was wrestling with zombies. Sapnap also turned his head toward around and immediately wheeled his axe. As you looked behind the younger brunette, you spotted a creeper approaching his way. Defend George. Right? Yes. Okay. You're much closer to George, so you sprinted towards him while Sapnap turned around to the hissing of the mob behind him. You wielded your axe up and high before striking down a crit onto the zombie that had been that had grabbed a hold of George. Okay. Who wrote this? I have no clue who wrote this. Um, doing it three more times, the mob had disappeared into smoke and a few orbs of XP. George, seemingly out of breath, appreciated appreciates your help. Appreciated? Appreciates? Mm. It, it switches between past and present. Yeah. Thanks, Tansy Smasher 300. <laughs> he was sad, <laughs> like salad fingers. Trim <laughs> 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 uh, turns around. Are you guys okay? <laughs> All three of you not in response. All right, then. Come on. We're almost there. I went British. Haha. <laughs> Switches between past and present. What's to say as a CS major? This is crappy writing. It is, kinda. Um, as a creative writing person, it is. Um, as a fan fiction author and reader, this is top notch. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Um, you all hobbled over to the nearby village. Dream had shoved a random door open and ushered all of you inside, breaking any levers or buttons nearby the entrance to ensure that no other mob could get in. Mobs can't use levers or buttons? You didn't really have to, but it was better safe than sorry. Also, there was no uh, buttons or levers in villages. Um, okay, so I... Mm -mm. This is a Minecraft YouTuber dating simulator where you get to date anime versions of Minecraft YouTubers. You're like, stop being picky. This is like a self-indulgent fic. <laughs> Do you expect quality? <laughs> fair, fair. Um, but still, like... This is a game that I've poured my, like, heart and soul into for, like, the past how many years is it now? Um, I expect some accuracies. Anyways. I, I love it. This, in spite of its flaws. <laughs> yes, I expect quality, not this crap. Um, also, he's just standing in front of the villager and just towering over him. It's that Shut really short. <laughs> Shut up, this is the best dating sim I have ever played, and I will tell you, I have played quite a few- Most of the games I have played in my lifetime are dating sims, and this is a masterpiece, a masterclass of gaming. Oh yeah? Find my house, I dare you! Yeah, find a Corby so that, like, when I'm in Florida next, I can just come over and just hang out at your house, and you'll have no idea who the hell I am. You know what? I'd vibe with it. Um, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. For the people who are you calling see, dating sim, sim as a genre bad, bad or are you oh, calling fan? Alyssa? What? Did you just call the entire genre of dating sims bad? Yeah. Alyssa? 
I'm sorry, but I don't know if I can continue <laughs> this stream the thing or, is that... or our friendship. The thing is, is that dating simulators are for self-indulgent stuff. Them being good has no merit on if people will like them. Thing is, okay. is that no. I am not somebody who is a fan of those works for the pure reason I'm not interested in that sort of situation, at least for myself. So, um, I that's think my... it entirely depends on which ones you play. Yeah. Because good written like uh, there have been some dating sims i've read not joking here that are better written than actual novels i've read yeah like it, it all li it literally all depends just like any genre of gaming there are good games and there are bad games oh, yeah. uh, some a lot of times the bad like this one or like <clears throat> um or like Doki Doki is not a dating sim. Not really, no. Doki Doki is a horror game. But anyways, like it... Like Hatoful Boyfriend, Minecraft Love Hunt, thing, games like that, yeah, it gives the genre a bad rap. But it is a genuinely good genre with a lot of genuinely good games that are better than some published novels and some official games. So, it, it really depends on where you're looking. I think you're looking... Well, you personally, I don't think you'd be interested in dating sims in general. In productions like girls in, the, in Doki Doki, they just die in the end, like in real life. Well, anyways... It's not a dating sim, because you don't date anybody. You technically do? It's a visual novel. Yeah, it's more visual novel. Anyways, visual novels and dating sims this. are completely different. I'm gonna continue with this. Okay, yes, we got Dream side side as everyone attempted to catch their breath. Anyone hurt badly or anything? You, George, and Sapnap glance at each other for a minute before shaking your heads all together. Dream said in relief before glancing at the iron golem doing its job to protect the village through the window. I've never met a gall iron golem who actually did his job normally. Um. Well, it seems like we're in the library. Might as well make the most of our time here and rest up until daylight comes back. Dream and sap nap and not at this. Dream continued to continued to stay nearby the door, keeping watch of the mobs outside. Sapnap had decided to sit by the staircase to the upper floor of the library. George had already gone up to check out the many books on the shelves. Wasn't there books also here? Anyways, you took this as a time to breathe and venture around. Also, shouldn't he also be a librarian? Like, shouldn't that be his job because he's by electric? Uh, it was before the time when ca when villagers had roles. Ah, uh, of course. Um, I assume it's more books? Yes. You decide to head upstairs. You wanted to see what the library had in store for you. Hearing your footsteps approaching, George sees you standing at the top of the stairs. Kenzie smash a 300. <laughs> She smells as you. She put your puts a book so bleh. he puts a book away, book away, in the shelf. You questioned him as he why he did that. He seemed very interested in it. Oh, it's um, it's nothing really. You don't buy it one bit, but you let it slide. So next to him, as you peered into the multiple books with your enchanted table language engraved on their spines, your fingers brushed against the lettering before George clears his throat. <clears throat> so, books. You like books, too? Not really. They bore me. 
I enjoy reading a lot. It takes my mind off of some things. Ooh. I want to go with either of these ones. I feel like this one is the right answer, though. Final answer? Uh, just give me a second. We are not. Books? You like books, too? Yes, that is how you flirt. Um, yeah, isn't that how you flirt? Diggy? That's how I flirt. Your girlfriend Diggy? Or boyfriend Diggy? No boyfriend Diggy? Yeah. There are more endings than I thought there were. That's why me and Perium could never get the right ending. Are we gonna have to like, save never... these at different spots? You know what? We're gonna save these at different spots. Okay. We might do a George run, and then do a Sapnap run, and then do a Dream run. Yeah, we might have to do multiple yeah. streams. Anyways. Yeah, so let's do a George run this time. So I'm gonna do it takes my mind off of some things. Some things oh, take... that was the wrong answer. <laughs> Dang it. Um, dang it, can I, can I go back? Um, um, where's the load? The load is blanked out. You can probably go to the, uh, home screen and then load from the save before the question. Load. Um, here. Yes. It's, I enjoyed reading a lot. Um, is it the top one? It's not the top one. Okay, so it's this one then. I think, but I'm trying to find a guide to be like 100% sure, but I can't find the guide that I was using when I first played the game. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna just do, I enjoy reading a lot, we can fix that later. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm like almost positive that that is the right. I like the way books open up a different world for you to discover and conform to. You smile like probably the at probably the countless books you've decided were your favorite ones, whether they were just a standalone or a long series. Oh, cuts Yay. me too. Oh. George smiles. You think? <laughs> oh, you think that too, huh? <laughs> It's just like here, too. Opening portals, finding different parts of its universe, understanding its lore. Oh, he then catches himself from rambling further. His face tinging pink. Tinging? Tinging. Oh, tin tingy. Whoops. Sorry, I think I've said too much. You assured him that he had it. You tell him that you enjoy hearing him talk about the things he's interested in. I wish it was more kind of like you saying that rather than, oh yeah, you kind of like reassure him. Um, he looks a bit shocked at your response before settling on a smile. Your great company, Tansy Smasher 300. <laughs> I love how you can read that name as you are like stepping on Tansy's or like... <laughs> Going hard for tansies. <laughs> or, or, you're using pansy as a derogatory term <laughs> for a whim, like pansy? <laughs> so there are three ways you can take it. Oh my gosh, that'd be so... It's just so great, it's just so bad, but it's so fun. Anyways. Oh, it's already daytime. This one, like, two seconds. Guys! Sun's, Sun's out. out! Let's go and loot this place! Sun's out! Guns out! Let's go! <laughs> loot this place! Everyone assembled themselves nearby the entrance of the library. 
Main focus is to find more iron. If you guys find found enough, craft a shield for each of you. Wasn't his job getting, like, going mining? Oh, wait, it's because he didn't have a pickaxe. He could have mined. <laughs> he was able to get stone, and that was it. I'll look okay. for a furnace and smelt the ones I've mined. I'll keep an eye out for more, too. He could have made one, but okay. I'm doing this weird, disjointed Sonic voice for Dream. <laughs> Gotta catch him up? No. Gotta go fast! <laughs> and look for food. And look for food, too. We'll be needing more of it later on. You, like, really solidly have, like, a British accent, and then it goes into Salamander <laughs> every time. It was <laughs> 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 not a talking very strange. <laughs> they all look under 18. I don't like that. They're, like, it's just IRL, they are, like, 20 plus. Yeah, they I mean, were at like in, like George was at least twenty three when this game was made. Yeah. Sapnap and Dream were like eighteen, nineteen. Yeah. So we're good. We Gucci. Oh, I yeah. hate saying that. Um, they they are not showed as we are good. Yeah. Um, you enter a nearby house to be greeted by a villager who stares at you for a moment before leaving the structure. Sugar had a random encounter before climbing up the stairs to see a chest in the corner. That's a wrong Well, IRL there. Opening it up, you're greeted by four pieces of bread, two iron ingots, and an apple. Smiling, you stash all of them in your inventory before he heading out. Meet up with Sapnap and George as they both emerge from a nearby house. Um, you can't use lore to save it. Oh, they look under 18, but they're actually over 18 now. Okay, IRL, they're over 18. And I don't think they were drawn with the explicit purpose of being, uh, looking under 18. Yeah. I think that's just, a, like, the artist's style just doesn't convey their, convey their age very well. Yeah. Give, like, George some, like, forehead wrinkles and, like, crow's feet, and then we'd be good. Um, <laughs> George approaches you. He gives you a shield and an iron pickaxe to replace your stone one that you've never used. Um, you know that he was able to make enough for everyone. That's a lot of iron. Why does George have the most iron? Turning around to the know. sound of footsteps approaching. You see Dream returning with more iron ingots and a bunch of buckets in his hands. George also made his way to the blonde, handing him his share of the new iron assets. Wait, 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 wait. So, shields. So that's at least one. So that's four pieces of iron. And then pickaxes, I think for everyone. That is twelve. So that is at It's least... a big village, it had a lot of golems! Oh my gosh, did he kill, like, all the golems? And also, uh, that's not really possible if I remember correctly, but anyways. Um, Dream on him and thanks. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, zap zap! Uh... How many obsidian blocks were in that chest? Seven up pondered for a bit. I think there were like two. I want to make Dream sound like like a Valley Girl diva. <laughs> oh my gosh! Sapnap, how many like, obsidian were in that chest? Um, like, come on, Sapnap! Dream glances down at the buckets he had with him and handed a few over to George. Also, not everyone would need pickaxes and, like, shields, right. nice, but, like, give him- Oh, jeez, that was not- I did not click anything. Um, he had him hand over George. Alright, George, you go and get water. Yeah, you go get water, I'll go ahead what and- What are you gonna- I'll water. go ahead and get some lava, Sapnap. 
I'll stay here and light the new portal up. I think it was supposed to display that he was being interrupted. Oh, yeah. But we were also being interrupted. Oh, yeah. Fair, fair. You stay here and light the new portal. Dream battle walks to the opposite direction while George walks to a nearby brook. Sapnap walks down a path towards the room portal area. So I guess we're going to water? Follow George. Spit up a bit and cut up <gasps> with George. I think we get a new, like, picture here as well. Okay. He smiles at you as you both fall into step. As you approach a small body of water, George crouches down and scoops up enough water in the bucket. You seem really easy to talk to, Pansy Smasher 300. <laughs> <laughs> you are too, Salad Fingers. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I never even watched Salad Fingers as a kid, okay? As a kid? Buddy. I barely watched it. I didn't like it. It was creepy. Anyways. I loved creepy stuff. If I knew that it existed when I was a kid, I would have been all over it. Mm. How, are How are you with your friends on your end? <laughs> what friends? Um, say... Boop! Stay here. Stay here. Oh! No. Okay. Have you... Have you ever got the intrusive thought to just take the cord for your headphones, put it between your teeth, and foxy smash it like the frontal lobe of a small child? One, that was Freddy. Um, shut up. <laughs> two, by the baby seven. Three, no. Uh, no, it's not. 83, it's not was it? Not bite of 87. Was it 83? He retconned it. Oh, right, he did. Forgot about that. Okay, they um, mean... I think it's they mean the world to me. Ding ding ding! Bingo! Right on the money! You smile as the thought of your friend group. They always knew how to brighten up your day when it gets too much. You would do anything if it takes them just as- makes them just as happy. Ooh, I'm getting flashbacks to summer and I hate this. No, George. you see, because my friends, I want them all to be miserable like me, so that they'll stay my friends, because they have nothing better. Fair. Um, George yeah. smiles at this. You're next. Me? You're my friend. Oh. I don't know what you mean by I'm next. I said I don't want my friends to be happy. I'll make them miserable so there's no one else to be with. Yeah. Try me. Like, try I, and get me more miserable. I freaking dare you. Um, then I don't need to. You're already miserable, which means you're never gonna leave me. It's fine. <laughs> I feel the exact same. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. We already did that. Yeah, we already did that. <laughs> Wait, I keep on scrolling. No! <laughs> I'd give them everything I have if it meant having the smiles on their faces too. That's not a normal way of saying those words. I mean, you can hear the fondness tripping from his voice. <laughs> it's just like yes, as I'm trying not to laugh. Why? <sighs> to read the lines? Oh yeah. I'm the yeah, voice line. Could you hear the fondness dripping <laughs> from my voice? <laughs> the other two seem to be very dear to him, you concluded. Really? We didn't get that hint anywhere, <clears throat> so we needed to no. be told it. Let's head back. You nodded before walking behind him, following the path back towards the room portal. <coughs> Again. Oh my so gosh, I think... I think I had to voice George the first time I played this game as well. Oh, that's funny. But, okay, real quick. They go from a plane, like, a forest to a 
forest to a jungle to a plains to a forest to a jungle? Where? How? I don't know. Anyways, continue. You guys got the stuff? <laughs> we got the drugs! <laughs> Everyone releases their needed items, confirming that they Cocaine, all have Cocaine, crack, we <laughs> got it all, crystal meth. <laughs> I got weed! That's just Angel seeds. Angel dust! I know. Cheering <laughs> 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 smiles at this before it, beginning to call George to his side to help complete the portal altogether. Also, they're doing all the, like, were like, the, um, oh, like, all the heavy lifting, and we're just existing there. It's you know like, what, oh, if I, if I, if I date someone, I don't even want to exist, so the fact that they're forcing me to exist alone is crossing my boundaries, so, like... The least they could do is do the heavy lifting, okay. since they're already making me exist. You stood up by the side as the three other members all grouped to give up together to speed up the portal building process. They didn't need to, though. And once they were all finished, Sapnap flicked the stone to his pos possession and flared the new nether portal to life. Those are not words that go- what? <laughs> okay, I have a couple of questions. So in that yeah. chest, there was two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's because of the uh, crying obsidian. I'm stupid. They kind of um, turned it on because crying obsidian. Yeah, I think we are also, like... Halfway through the route, maybe something like that, and we've already been playing for an hour. Yeah. Also, they did the corners. It's because I'm annoyed. Anyways, the four They're of you rich. Have the success. Yeah, but they can afford to do the corners. <laughs> um, the you four don't want to you... cut corners. Yeah, you could have just put like cobblestone. Um, the four of you grinned at the success of your first half of the plan. Sapnap then glanced around to everyone else. So, is everyone ready? Dream points to George. Wear your helmet, George. That's a threat. <laughs> oh, yeah. These, these skins never change. George quickly applies the helmet and gives out a thumbs up. Also... Why don't they have, like, any other armor? They're like, George, wear your helmet. We're going in naked. <laughs> <laughs> He's also not wearing the helmet. <laughs> we're ready. <laughs> yeah, they didn't change the skills at all. They're on his feet. They're on his feet. <laughs> Step now. Hey, oh, no. hey, actually, dating <laughs> simulators, most pro game, most pro Pro, like gating simulators will change the sprites yeah. depending on what they're wearing in canon. So yeah. it's not a dating simulator thing, it's a love hunt thing. Yeah. Sepna so nods and you all usher over to the line of blocks right before the portal. Also, that is that is false. Uh, a majority of dating simulators have zero adult content whatsoever, so well, honey pop exists. You inhale deeply and That's... exhale slowly and attempt to calm your nerves before entering the portal. You peer over to the side to see the other three doing the same. Also, they're by a desert. Whoever got You're the seat sucks. You're questioning the continuity of yes. a Minecraft no, no, no. dating simulator where yes. you date Minecraft YouTubers? Yes. Um, they could have at least placed them a little bit in some form closer to that, but it's fine. Druin then began to count. On three. That's one, not counting. <laughs> drink, drink, drink. Oh, right, right. Oh, wait, that one drink is finished. Ah! Two. two so and then drinks. drink again. Thank goodness we aren't drinking alcohol. Oh, yeah. I have water. Um, we encourage you all to play at home as well, but also with water. Yeah, I have water. Three! 
A separate maybe... shout out all four of you had jumped into the portal at the same time. Woo! Maybe maybe when I turn 21, I'll actually do a real drinking game. I don't drink. I hate drinking. I don't know. You've got a couple of months till it, so you've got time. Yeah. After feeling light for a split second as you thread through two different worlds, you feel gravity pulling you down as you enter a warm surrounding. You decide to take a step down from the obsidian platform with the, disori the disorientation catching up to you. You had fallen onto your knees and clutched your head. can do the drinking game in this stream. I have lots of alcohol at home. Mm. Um, teleporting from one way have... to another isn't exactly as fun as it seems. I mean, I'm taller than my mother, which means that I can reach the alcohol cupboard, but I don't want to. The other three had simultaneously groaned as they landed. Ugh, hopefully we're never doing that again. I second that. Well, they're gonna have to. Oh, yeah. Shinging his head, Dream stood up and batted away the netherrack dust that had gotten all around him from the fall. You and the other two had followed his lead and did the same. Dream gazes around the view of endless dripping lava, trying to s let the scene sink in. The nether. Rank. Alright. You can hear the dread in Dream's voice. You were about to approach him about it before he turned around with a stern look on his face. Gather a bunch of nether rack. We'll all need it. Also, why is he, like, leading it all? Like, he does because know that Seth always and George are just as capable as doing this. Because I'm pretty sure that they have both at least finished Minecraft by themselves. In, like, a speed yeah. manner. But, you have to understand, this game was probably created by, like, a dream stand. You're right. Um, you all know to split right. off, and you... And you bound off to the side, creating a small strip mine to easily gather a bunch, a big amount of nearby materials. So you could just flatten. Also, yeah. two endermen, and you're not taking advantage of it. Do you guys even have swords? As you mine away, you heard a loud gasping echo from outside the cave. Guys! The fortress! It's right here! Oh yeah, I can see it right there. Yeah, can't you see it as well? Mm -hmm. It's like right here. It's like right here. <laughs> I love it. It's brilliant. I've never seen such a beautiful fortress. Is that a magma slime down there? Um, you raise your eyebrows in surprise. It was just near spawn? That's so lucky. Yeah, it is. You're hurried leave mine a bit more netherrack before running outside, catching up to Sapnap, who had eventually done the exact same. Nice find, Goggy. I hate that. Um, George seemingly <laughs> cringes at the nickname. Oh, I, I get you, George. Uh, but was cut off from reacting due to the fact that Dream had ruffled his hair. Everyone follows George's lead towards the structure. As a group approaches the nether brick walls, everyone took turns in using their bundles of netherrack to maneuver up to an entrance. We're gonna stop right here in front of a bunch of wither skeletons. As you <laughs> helped <laughs> each other up the ledge, George gasped at the wither skeleton attacking him and managed to bring up his shield in time to block it. George! George! I'm fine. Let's just go. Yeah, just block. If you block it right here, or like even like right here, you're safe. Um, he shoves the mob back as everyone started off to the opposite direction. Dream points towards a nearby blaze spawner, calling Sapnap to his side. As they both regain, began to farm for the needed blaze rods, George was also was busy defending the area from the other mobs that had followed you. Just block them! 
Grand mobs began to multiply as time passed, and you knew you had to help out somehow. Um, assist George. You bound over Ooh. to George as quickly as you can, swinging your axe. We had an axe? Oh yeah, we have a stone axe. Um, before shoving the others away with your own shield. Again, I'm just saying you could easily block it off and be fine. Um, George looks at you in surprise. What? Tansy Smasher. Oh, just... Tansy Smasher, you. He was cut off when two more skeletons had bumped <laughs> against him. You reprimanded him, saying that it wasn't the time to complain about your split second choices. He suddenly nodded, working on defending the other two as they handed each other sides. We have enough. Let's go. Also, they're not gonna, like, see them caught on fire at all. Because, let's be honest, that happened. Also, is Dream buff? You all fought your way through the fortress grounds and went to the nearby netherrack field. Dream is just... buff in real life. Oh. As you dashed towards the train, you noticed Dream and the others weren't heading for the portal. You wacky racked your brain as you wondered why, but remember that you needed the easiest and quickest way that you could all think of for obtaining ender pearls. And that was all through piglin trading. You all looked for a biome that was enough mobs that were able available for trading. Dream hollers over to you guys to dig up a hole to surround at least two or three piglins. George passes his golden helmet over to Dream as he tosses gold ingots towards the hog-like humanoids, leading them to the hole you all made. Also, so we had that close-up shop and they didn't even try and like put a gold helmet on him. Mm. With no gold to pass the piglins' taste, the others had begun to run towards everyone else. Sabnep was on one end of the pit fighting against two gas simultaneously spawned. That is very unlucky. Um, George was on the other side fending off other piglins and a few other wither skeletons that had followed your group. Dream, make it quick! I'm trying! Dream! Um, piglins, right? Yeah. Yeah, because George is doing piglins. Making up your mind, you take long strides towards the older male, who seems to have a tiny bit of trouble fighting off the bobs. Tell George that you can handle the skeletons and have him run towards the area as much as he can to stall time for Dream to make the sufficient amount of trades. Sounds like a plan, Tansy Smasher 300. I love that it's like you're imagining them say that every time and not like shortening up to like Tan or Tansy or like anything or just Smasher or like. S <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Smasher. Oh. So here's the, here's the real question Is our first name. Tansy and our last name Smasher 300, or is our first name Tansy Smasher and our last name That's 300? That's our gamer tag. That's our gamer tag. So that's our full <laughs> name, Tan. I was making like... a joke. <laughs> okay, concept. Tansy first name, Smasher middle name, 300 last name. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's and, and, and our parents did it. Our parents were lay epic gamers, so they made our name specifically so that it would be a perfect username. Um. Also, Diggy, why I chose Tansy is because um, Tansy is a um ter like a Tansy flower is a declaration of war. I just thought it'd be funny. Um, Wait, so that gives it- that gives it a fourth meaning. War Smasher? No. I am going to dominate you in war. Ooh. 300. So that's a fourth meaning. <laughs> we are peeling back the layers like an onion. <laughs> the thing is, is I make so, like, profound thought- like, random thoughts. It is hilarious. Like, I will just do something and people will be like, oh, I'll think through it later. I'm like, oh yeah, this actually was actually, like, very profound. Like, I didn't even mean for that to happen. Anyways. 
He then began to run towards, uh, run around and lead the other piglins away as you exchange hits with the other, with the wither skeletons in front of you. Are we still, wither skeletons don't spawn in, like, they only spawn in fortresses. Um, everything began to overwhelm you from the amount of mobs surrounding you. All, all, wait, surrounding all of you to the huge amount of pressure you're feeling right now. Sapna began to call out, peeped tones sweeping, seeping out of his voice. Dream! Dream rolled his eyes. Let's go this way. Yeah. Is he just buff or is it been just like cut up a bunch? He was visibly irritated as he was pressured off, but hopefully everyone would shrug it off. That is not a naturally drowning spawning portal, buddy. They all bolted towards the right direction to the portal, the one you finally recognize, and gasping in relief when you spotted the familiar purple particles flaring into the air. Dream reaches it first, not entering the vortex, and instead opted out to take a swing at an approaching aggressive piglin mob. Get in! Now! Without a second thought, Sapnap and George had entered the portal, their bodies slowly disappearing into the overworld the longer they stayed in. He glanced back at Dream and hesitated. I don't want to leave him behind. Dream frowned at you. Go. When you didn't budge, Dream had insist instead pushed you through the portal. It's just the same image mirror mirrored. Oh, it's the same image. You came to your first reaction was to frantically check your surroundings for your other companions. We're here, Tansy Smasher three hundred. We're here. <laughs> From behind you, you hear Sapnap and George seemingly out of breath. The older of the two was lying on the back, whilst the other was seated on a nearby grass block and wiping the sweat from his chin. George's voice weather wavered when he spoke up. Where's Dream? He died. Her heart sank when he had to explain what had happened before you teleported back into the overworld. He will friend at this. Of course he would. We have to go back. See if he's still there. We need to help him. You stay here because you're so freaking helpless, lady. Come on. Um, <laughs> before their argument could go any bigger, Dream had suddenly appeared into the overworld. Landed into grass with a harsh thud. Dream! Dream! Oh, he did that in unison! Almost, almost. Um, he rushed over to his side, to when he ra to which he waved off. Both Sapnap and George helped him up onto his feet. I'm fine, I'm fine. Health check, guys. Earl wearily nodded before looking up at your own health bars. George says that he has four left. Uh, you and Sapnap have the same amount of three. Dream only had half a heart. Seven up round as George crossed his arms. George, what? <laughs> you don't say your own name. <laughs> because you would have to be careful. <laughs> what happens to being careful, Dream? <laughs> Dream waved him off as he pulled out a piece of bread to replenish his hunger and to regain, regen. All that matters is that we're fine. <clears throat> yeah, I'm surprised they've not even tried to, like, get food. It was our first and hopefully last time in the nether. Of course it'd end up messy. So like that's such a diva. <laughs> You were about to hand him your golden apple, but he noticed and stopped you from doing so. I told you, you'll need it more than I do. Friend, but didn't push him. 
He stashed it back into your inventory. I sat and approached him to craft Eyes of Ender. As they successfully crafted a few, Dream flicked up one up. It slowly raised and leaned towards one direction, before ultimately plunging to the ground. The blonde catches it right before it lands and double checks it if it snaps into two. Well, you have our lead. Let's go. We have our heading. Here we go. Um, <laughs> We're going on our trip and our favorite rocket ship. Oh, Zooming do you not get the reference? The sky. What? Oh, you were. I know. I know you're a sheltered child, but did you not have any Disney movies? Yes. So we have okay. our heading. Here we go. And I was like. Oh, Captain Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean, and then it was, um, oh, Peter Pan, and it was before, like, all the Disney movies, when you'd play them on, like, the DVD. Oh, I haven't had a Disney DVD in so long. My brother stole them all when he moved out. Mm -hmm. Actually, my parents gave them to him. Oh. Uh, anyways. We all fell into step with each other. The walk was quiet, save for the occasional clicking of the ender eyes that came from Dream. So you're just like freaking checking them? I'm like, ugh! Okay, we're good. Um, it was a bit too quiet for your liking. Are you good, George? Any ender injuries, George? Because that's the one we care about. You slowed your pace down to match with George, who was simulated on the very end of your little line of following the leader. The colorblind male. Also, why, is, <laughs> why does he have, um, oh, heterochromia? I have no idea. Um, the colorblind male had been munching on his share of bread, effectively replenishing his health. He nods as he swallows his recent bite. I'm all good, Pansy Smasher 300. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I just love this like, every time they <laughs> say it. Full name. Do you need anything? The only food I've seen you wield was the gold was the gapple from way earlier. Yeah, she like our character should have bread or something. You shook her head, letting him letting him know that you had your own stash of food. A little bit of silence filled the space between you two before George spoke up this time. Give me a sec. And we're back. Um, a little bit of silence filled the space between before George spoke up this time. So, drink. Alright. Do you have any questions, like, in general? Are you really British? <laughs> no, I'm an American girl pretending to be British. <laughs> I just figured out that since you've been with us this entire time, might as well get to know each other a bit more. Uh, I like to save at these spots so that we can get back to them really easily. Um, we'll go yeah. back to here, get to here, and then fast forward to here, I think. And then we'll play... Um, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, anyways. Um, what else would you like to do outside of this? I'm not really interested in talking. We even got you guys into this mess. I think it's this one. Is that a reveal the answer question or a general? Yes. That, if I say I think it's this, or in any form of I'm gonna click this, give me a weird I note. Do you believe that is the correct answer? That's okay, the one that I guess just... we're the best. You now knew that he likes coding and reading books. Maybe there's more that he'd like to do. 
George blinked for a second, before humming in thought. Something I like to do other than the ones I've told you? Well, I'm quite... I'm quite into chess. I play it from time to time with the other two. You nodded your head. Interesting. That's a really a game you're too interested in. It fascinates you when you watch people play. But the mechanics are quite confusing. They're not, but okay. Um, he notices this, and he lets out the softest laughter. <laughs> if you aren't into it, that's okay. But if you really want to learn it, I can teach you. Oh. I didn't notice before, but the sprite blushes. That is adorable. Oh, did you also hear that he like laughed a bit? Yes. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Oh no, she's no. falling in love with George now. Uh, <laughs> no. Oh, it's gonna send over another one. No, I've already played this game. I just didn't notice they put the blush on the sprite. Adorable. Anyways. <clears throat> Maybe even have a little chest state if you'd like that. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I will have you know I I am very proud in the fact that I do not simp for George. George <laughs> is my least favorite out of the three, actually. I like him because he's British. Um, but that should be no surprise. I mean, and at least you should know. Um He's British, and it's quite nice that he's British, but I find him boring. Fair. His cheeks tint pink, and you bashfully smile back. You'll have to keep that offer in mind. Bro, George Not Found just asked you on a date? You do not keep that in mind. You respond immediately. Sip! Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> I've been sneezing a lot lately. Um, <laughs> everyone stopped walking while Dream halted in his tracks. It's down here. He announces as he whipped out his pickaxe, beginning to mine away through the ground. <laughs> Dream, why are you going to get that dirt with a pickaxe? I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I responded, sorry, George, I'm gay, n but not for you. <laughs> That's funny. George and Sapnap had gone to do the same thing on either side of him, so he decided to follow through and mimic their actions in front of the whole dream made. He continued to dig deeper, not even paying attention until you realize you've dug through the stronghold ceiling and fell through. And broke all of your arms. Tansy Smash! Tansy Smasher 300! Okay, that was sad, but it's fine. <laughs> um, you dealt a little bit of damage to yourself, thanks to your clumsiness. Dream had safely landed into a water MLG, so did George, although he let his water spread around for a bit so Sapnap landed safely in. But he got rid of it too quickly. Um. <laughs> You're going to give us a heart attack, Pansy Smasher 300. Be careful next time. George, by this point, just call us Tansy. Um, <laughs> you let out a sheepish chuckle as you pull out an apple from your inventory. Proceed to munch on it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and just, <laughs> just bites into apple. <laughs> <laughs> um, a munch to Lee Jen. You all took a better look at which part of the stronghold you guys were located in. You all realized you were in the middle of it with three pathways. The end portal, the library, and a way to another hallway. That is very lucky. I'm sorry. Also, where is the library? But okay. Um, Sapnap lifts out a huff. Huh. Lucky. You patted off the remaining dirt from your clothes as Dream began going towards the portal room, getting rid of the silverfish spawner before starting to 
fill in the gaps of the portal itself. Sapnop uh, scratches his head before heading off to the empty hallway that leads to an iron door. I'll go over here and check if there's any other any stuff I can grab before we enter. Same. I'll go Same. Check over. I'll oh. check. Same. Sorry. I'll check over here. Sorry. <laughs> we. Why are you apologizing? Because I read on accident. You were Sorry. then left to your own devices yet again. Um, uh, library, right? Yeah. Okay. So Mr. George's. Took the left path, entering the iron door following the older male. Just say George. Just say George. Um, yeah. As you entered the room, you were greeted by tall rows of bookshelves filled to the brim. Hearing the clink of the iron door close behind you, George called out from the corner of the room. Um, I'm right here. Ah, uh, books. <laughs> <laughs> you felt the sound of his voice leading you to him as he f closed a chest. You proceed to sit on it. Like, sit on the chest? But the yeah. chests are, like, okay, so the chests are on, like, the top shelf or, like, on the a level above. There's a lot wrong here. Um, just a compass and a few. Oh, sorry. Just, just a compass and a few blank pages. Nothing useful. He mutters out a little. Oh yeah, and proceeds to bring out his crafting table, seemingly creating a bow along with some arrows. He also got flint and sticks and um, feathers. Okay. A moment of silence had seeped into your conversation before he called out to you. Tansy smash a 300. <laughs> He's so <laughs> proper. <laughs> you look at him. He seems a bit nervous and flustered. I figured that this might- that this won't be the last time we'll be able to talk that comma manner, let's say. So, I just want to admit something. <laughs> Pansy Smash a 300, I think you're really amazing. <laughs> I hope I don't, like, overwhelm you or anything. I just wanted to let you know that. It's really hard to keep Thanks. up this British accent. Thanks for the do- thank you for the tona. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to do thank you for the dono. <laughs> Thanks for the donation, buddy. I've never buddy. actually done thank you for the dono before. I, let's not. Let's do, like, the actual thing. I like you yeah. too. He never said he liked us, he just called us really amazing. We're smashing. I'm assuming that's the right answer, though. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> he smiles sweetly at you. A drink! <laughs> A drink! To the adorable CGs. You also the dot dot dot. <laughs> yes. I love the CGs in this game. I'm glad the feelings were mutual. Their eyes are weird. I love the eyes. They're they're cool, I just don't want like they're cool texture, they don't work for eyes, because it's like, oh it's a whole entire galaxy. That just feels weird. Um you feel a slight Oh I love it. Oh. You feel a slight Blush rise on your cheeks as he affirms your growing, growing feelings towards him. He hops off the chest, your chest, to be a fact. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Let's head back. I'm pretty sure Sapnap's claim calmed his nerves, and Dreams finished up the portal by now. You nod on and follow his lead out of the chamber. As everyone star started to regroup, the quiet humming of the finished end portal echoes out. Nervously, Sapnap speaks. Uh, any encouraging words before we hop in? Turn to George? Yep. When George meets your gaze, 
His eyes were slightly tinted pink. M me? You want me to? Drink. Alright. I'm out of drink. Um, so when we jump into the end portal, I think I'm gonna go get more water. I have two full back. bottles with me, so... Well, I forgot that I should have probably, like, emptied this out and drank it all, but that's yeah, fine. Um, yeah. All three of you had simply encouraged him with smiles on your faces. George <clears> eyes, <throat> shaking his head a bit before looking back was at you all with a smile on his face. All right, then. I know most of this was my fault. But there's no time to dwell on that now. What matters is that we're close to what's probably the solution, and we'll be able to escape this realm and return back home. Everyone had given each other affirming glances, reassuring one another that they're ready before staring down towards the black vortex. Not, it's more of an abyss. It's not really a vortex, but okay. Yeah. You gripped on the axe and shield you were wielding. Your nerves making you feel all jittery. Oh. Nighty night. Go with the little spy. Night diggy. On three. Seven up shakily breathes. I know it's empty, but what I'm gonna do when we jump into the portal. One. Two. And everyone began to run up. Three! Okay, time to get a drink. So, um, you... Cozy, um, I will have my headset on to get the drink, but you are free to entertain the chat. Am I allowed to entertain the same way you entertain mine? Sure. Oh, you know I'm, what? I'm not I'll let you. I'll let you. You can do it. I I'll I be can't. Listening, I'm not even. So I'm, I'm not even streaming, so I can't. Oh, true, true. Um, but yeah, you're free to do whatever you want. But be aware, I'm listening. Okay. I have fun facts uh, that I can share with everyone. Um. Uh, one fun fact is that Lizzie Borden did not kill her parents. Um, another fun fact is that cows can sleep standing up. Um, uh, another fun fact, uh, basically all calico cats are female but the ones that are male are uh, genetic mutations um fun fact bees are really cute um ah uh, another fun fact would would probably be that there are species of jellyfish that basically live forever because when they're nearing death, they revert back to a fetus and then grow up again. And then they just do that entire process until they're killed by something. So they basically live forever. Um... A fun fact I don't think anybody can dispute. Alyssa's pretty awesome. Um, another fun fact. Uh, my cats are pretty awesome. Um, hmm. Fun fact, if you eat too many sour candies, uh, your tongue will start to become really sore. I learned that today because my dad bought me sour cream candies. I ate too many. 
Um, when I was Christmas shopping, two of my bills from separate stores came out to exactly $69. Thought that was pretty funny that it happened twice in one day. Um, Fun fact, eels, um, we have no idea how eels reproduce. They just yes! disappear and then just have more eels. <laughs> Salmonella Academy. Oh my god. Anyways, um, I can dispute that I am awesome fact because I am not, in fact, awesome. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm a terrible but it was human a being. Um, it, was a, it was a fact, sorry. I mean, terrible human beings can be pretty awesome, too. Eh. Um, I mean, I'm pretty awesome, and I'm, like, pretty terrible of a human being as well, so. Doubt. Um, you braced yourself as the discomfort of teleporting began to set in. You covered your mouth as you landed onto the obsidian platform, trying to get a hold of yourself. George shakes his head as he checks on everyone right after landing. Tenzi Smasher 300, are you okay? You waved him off, coughing as you do so. Why are we coughing? Are we gonna throw up? It doesn't particularly <coughs> convince him, but he trusts you enough to regain your balance yourself. Are you trying to be a main character here? Could it be your name? Um, I am your name. <laughs> I have to... legally changed my name. <laughs> to Y slash N. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dream and Sapnap um, seem to have gotten used to the feeling of teleporting as they appeared fine. You struggled to get back to your feet as they began to build their way towards the center of the island where the dragon was situated. You got yourself on your feet and caught up to them. I'm a lot of breath from walking upstairs. Um... <laughs> Go ahead and push towards the dragon. I'll take care of the ender crystals. No, you should all take care of the ender crystals. Um... Make sh every shot count, George. Of course. He runs off to the sides as he already begins aiming at the top of the pillars. Dream towards turns to you. Me and Sapnap will go ahead, land attacks on the dragon. Those are gonna be pointless, buddy. You steer clear from her, alright? Kill some Endermen and grab some pearls they drop so that you can filter them to us or use them yourself if you have to flee. You oblige, standing in the outer ring of the island as the two childhood friends rush towards the middle. You dare to make eye contact with the tall, void-like mobs to aggravate them. Um, are you gonna just, like, do it straight up? Or are you gonna, like, put blocks above your head? Because I know you have blocks. It proves effective. Really, staring at their faces makes them angry? Who knew that? I mean, for... Staring at my face makes me angry. <laughs> Same. Um, as they run to open their mouths, their irritating buzzing getting louder as they launch themselves at your shield. Shove them away and attempt to land hits on them once taking caution of any of their attacks they, that manage to get too near to you. After taking at least two hits from the mobs, you count the amount of enderpearls you've gained whilst eating some bread to regenerate your health. Seeing that you've gone quite a lot, you quickly jump into the middle to throw some to Dream and Sapnap. Thanks, Tansy Smasher 300. Sapnap manages to catch all of it, tossing the other half towards the blonde who had just landed his water MLG. I wonder if they understand what MLG means. Maybe. Um, after a few more minutes of combat, it seems that the Ender Dragon's health had depleted until halfway. George had done some of, of his job of shooting all the healing crystals. Some or all of them. You were busy looking around for the older male when the dragon had launched a fireball near you. You had only heard a soft thudding sound before you knew it. You were surrounded by purple particles that began to burn you. Don't we have a couple? 
Tansy Smasher 300. <laughs> Use an Ender Pearl. Get out of there. You fucking idiot. You fumble over <laughs> the items in your inventory, finally stumbling over the spear like object, throwing it away to somewhere farther. Safer. Your breath was shaky and sort of puff in short puffs as you teleport. You look up to your health bar to see you had two and a half hearts left. Tansy Smasher 300, are you okay? You had to reassure them that you're fine, even a wave of your hand, but the, but the required effort of you to do so much of for, wait, as much was too much for you and ended up making you feel a lot more lightheaded. George, we need you. Being the nearest one to you, George glances back to you horribly. You shook your head in an attempt to tell him to go help the others. Don't we have a golden apple? Um, George furred his brow together before turning away and running towards the metal. I'm right here! We need your help in keeping the dragon away from Tansy Smasher 300. <laughs> because they are the weakest link. 100%. They're the smasher of Tansies. <laughs> Got it. And I love how it sounds like a generic name. And that there's like <laughs> 299 another Tansy Smasher. <laughs> <laughs> like it implies so much more Tansy Smashers than there probably actually is. It's like, man, this is a really good name. Ah, uh, there are already 299 <laughs> other Tansy Smashers, though. Guess I'll do 300. <laughs> right before Dream was the sole person out of everyone in your group to have experience being half on a half heart. And you were close. To say it hurt was sugarcoating it. You felt a excruciating pain as your heart tried to make up for the blood that you had lost from the recent situation. As you, as your breath, breathed heavily, breathed. That's the. That's how you say that. Breathed heavily. <laughs> you fiddled around for your golden apple that had stayed in your inventory the entire time. Last time you glanced at the dragon's <laughs> health bar, it was nearly finished. Just a few critical hits and it would be over. You sighed as you took your time, finally being able to finish fish it out of all of your belongings. That's a weird picture. That's a terrible <laughs> screenshot, I'm sorry. Um, you're about to eat it when you heard a bellowing noise from above. The Iron Dragon was coming right for you. Also, all the ender crystals are still there. George, you did half a job and you have a full smile. <laughs> Tansy! Tansy Smash Tansy your smash 300! You have half a job and you have a full, and have a full smile. Like, look at that. You <laughs> failed at his job. You froze up and <laughs> shut your eyes tight as you braced yourself for what was about to happen. You're, you heard the noise of a hit. You didn't feel any pain. You opened your eyes and saw... Drink. Oh, look at that. George, who had to go up and fired his last arrow at the dragon. That had been only one hit away. The dragon screeches as... Let's let the sound play out. I was... I was terrified when it started showing the CG that we got the bad ending because the bad ending looks eerily similar and I was oh. like, oh no, what did oh, we no. do wrong? <laughs> um, the dread screeches as it levitates up, light producing its body as it slowly disintegrated into specks of particles and XP points. And right there, sound effects echoes from about from George himself. An option not found has made the advancement through the end. Everything was silent before all three of them began to weep loudly. Oh my god, George, you did it! 
<laughs> we weren't <laughs> expecting it. You were. We expected you were gonna die. Yeah, we gotta drop that you're gonna die. That's fine. Yeah, that's our boy. <laughs> George had been lifted into the air by the two. The male himself la laughing loudly as they all cheered. After a whole while of being stunned, you left out of your share of giggles. Boys turned around as they heard you laugh. They forgot we existed for a little bit. Oh yeah, bit. they're like, oh right, you exist, sorry. Um, the two friends had glanced at each other with a glint of mischief in their eyes before running towards you with George still on their shoulders. Whoa, guys, let me down! Two had simply laughed at him before letting him get off as they stopped right in front of you. <laughs> oh, I remember the ending! Dream helped you up to your feet, giving you the golden apple you dropped to heal up. You nodded at him in thanks, feeling a whole lot better as you took a bite out of it, and turned to see Sapnap pushing a blushing George towards you. When he was right in front of you, you had simply thanked him for being brave and saving your life. I'm drink. I'm really glad you're okay, Tansy Smash of 300. George, by this point, you can call us Tansy. Or Smasher, whichever you prefer. Um, he wasn't I'll one call you Tansy Smash at 300. <laughs> he was the one who would easily convey his emotions through words, you figured. He gave out a so soft lash as he cups, uh, cupped his cheek, letting him have a bite- Oh, bite of your cold apple, right. Um, uh oh Thanks, Tansy Smash at 300. <laughs> I just love this. Um, Dream laughed at your exchange, his hands on his stomach as he crackled. George sent him a glare, going to the point of even rolling his eyes at the male's reaction towards you two. Alright, you two cute. You are too cute. You two are cute. Yeah. You get it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come That's on. Charm. Let's go home. You nodded, and all four of you had walked up to the middle. Dream and Sapnap hugged each other sideways as they made their way to the portal, their antics making you stifle a small giggle. They all hoped that once you all jumped in, you all will all, one, be able to come back home safely, and two, remember everything that had happened. Are you sure everyone thought about that? Okay. You were so nervous. But this was so far your only choice to jump into the unknown. You felt someone grab a hold of your sh hand. George? Yeah. You get your gaze trailed from the portal to see that it, it was George himself. He had a soft reassuring smile on his face as he squeezed your hand. Wait, wait, wait. You felt something? You felt someone grab your hand and it was George himself. George just jumped into your hand. <laughs> Hi. Is he that small? How's it going? Is he like a little pixie? <laughs> I think it was George had your hand, but uh, yeah. Um, you were sure that he was nervous too. On three? I feel like they tried to make this a thing, but it wasn't really that much of a thing, to be honest. Everyone grinned at him. One. Two. Three! Three. <laughs> hey, we actually said something! <laughs> Yay! You woke up on your bedroom floor, clutching at your throbbing head. Oh, the ending! It seems that you've fallen out of, over your chair. You hear your phone buzzing from your desk. Groaning, you crawl over to check what your notifications are going off for. First few spams, it would spin your friends as you had apparently late for your Hypixel game together with them. The most recent one was... Drink! Drink. <laughs> Snarge not found. Went life. Fixing my chair. George not found. George. Minecraft. The realm. Quickly plus on the notification. The stream's audio booming out of your headphone speakers. Sorry, guys! Oh my god, we're still watching Green <laughs> Street! <laughs> I know we're supposed 
supposed to be doing the Minecraft challenge right now, but our connection did some sort of blip, and now my chair is wrecked. <laughs> Get wrecked. Um, the chair, <laughs> the no. chat roars in laughter, finding it hilarious that he had fallen off his chair to the point of breaking it. Oh, wow, chat. You guys aren't feeling nice tonight, huh? They're never feeling nice. Oh, no, never. Chat's, chat's annoying. But I love my chat. Because nobody's there, it's quiet. <laughs> um, your heart beat races, you impulsively send a dono to try and catch his attention. He stops holding the pieces that belong to his chair to check the donation. Okay. Who just donated thank you for the dono? Wait. Wait. Um. I'm not sure to check the donation. Okay. Okay, who just uh, donated? Thank you for the dono. You think you're so smart. George talked to himself before he, he had a chance to read your name. Here's your name. Pansy Smasher 300? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. DM me on Twitter. Do you have the same username? You have to be quick. You know how fast people can be at taking names and usernames and impersonating people. You merely transfer to Twitter, the stream turning into a picture in picture form and situating itself on the bottom corner of your phone and set him a message. George, it's me. Do you remember anything? The Minecraft ROM, the library, the golden apple? Your heart rate picks up as you anxiously wait for a response. You hope you were quick enough. You heard his quick typing noises from his stream as the chat zoomed by with your name combined with a bunch of question marks asking who you were. Pansy <laughs> Smasher 300? That sounds like a, like a jock from college. <laughs> or someone from an adult site. Um, and then suddenly someone joined the call. Dream! George, what the heck are you doing? It's Tansy Smasher 300! <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean it's Tansy Smasher 300? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mute your mic, you idiot! The audio from both Dream and George's mics have been silenced. And then suddenly, you have a notification bleep, beep on from Twitter. Tensei Smasher 300! <laughs> of course I remember, Smiley. <laughs> Dream's been helping- Dream's helping me book a flight for you right now! <laughs> would next week be okay? Would next next week be okay? Uh, would also, next next week be um, okay? Um, excuse me. They're like, um, so I know I've only known you for like 20 minutes, um, and I don't know where you live, but I'm booking you a flight. <laughs> You're gonna have to guess from where. <laughs> you flushed. Already? It wasn't as if you you didn't want to be by his side. You already missed being next to him. Next message came in, and it was like you both had a connection Connected brain cell. Oh, wait. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Was that too quick? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. George, it's okay. I'm free, so it's okay. Smiley face. Oh, drink. Drink. <laughs> this real? That said back, no. Seriously, <laughs> paralysis demon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, please, don't look at my stream for like five seconds. I'd count. Like one, two, three, four, five. Huh? Curiously peeked at the stream window at the bottom corner. 
George was jumping around in happiness, arms in the air, before returning back to the mic, seemingly telling the other male of your decision. Oh, he doesn't have heterochromia on this. Does he have heterochromia on his skin? I don't know. You left it yourself, your cheeks hurting from how much you were smiling the entire time. Couldn't wait to see him again. Romantic inning. Plane trip. Woo! Oh! A new player, eh? Interesting! You must be Tazy Smash 300! <coughs> I'm XD! In charge of everything in between here! Seems that like you've unlocked an ending! That's pretty cool! That's really cool! Say, if you'd um, lock everyone's ending, maybe you could help me find a secret code! I've been seeing an opening here and there, but I'm having trouble in achieving the code I need. Maybe I'll benefit you too. But then, it'll be up to you if you'd like to help me. It'd be really cool if you did. Until then, I'll see you next time. I should mention this game was released before anything to do with the Dream XD storyline in the SMP. I'll say thanks for the donut. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I feel like that's what I would do. I'll say. If like I had a streamer partner just being like, I love you. Thanks for the dono, buddy. <laughs> and they're like, oh god. Um, he throws his head back in laughter at your response. That's such a dumb joke. But it's great. You both snicker at the reference you've made. That's sad. Um, George looked at you properly. Yeah, I'm really glad we're friends, Tansy Smash of 300. Simply grin to him, he mirrors your expression. Okay, and then we can skip. Um, turn to George. Skip. Hmm, I think as long I as we did. This... I don't think it's, there's any difference. Oh, back. Oh yeah. yeah. Face yourself. You hear a hit. You didn't feel any pain. Open your eyes and saw. Drink. Oh right. It's still the good George, ending. Put his bows up. All right. One hit away. So I'm assuming that this is the same, so we can just skip. Yeah, this is all the same. Back. Transfer to Twitter. Okay. Send me a message. Because I don't me. think it's... I think it'd be about the same. Um, yeah, but I don't think it'd be romantic this time. Yeah, maybe not. Um, okay, go slower now? Oh, wait. Wait, maybe Look there was actually stuff flag? back. Because remember, stuff happened with the golden apple. Wait. Oh, so it's about the same. Because, oh, thanks. Yeah. We'll check to change. see if they check to see if he still holds your hand. Cause you're supposed yeah. to be friends. Yeah. Get it. Um So nervous. Try to jump in. Let someone grab a hold of your hand. Okay, so yeah, it's still he still grabs your hand. Of course it's still George. Yeah. Let me, like, still. So, so join the call. We're here. Notification book from Twitter, of course. How many book a flight for you right now? Okay, so it's the same thing. It's the same ending for that one. Okay, so load. So we did that one. So let's do the one where it's like, you're okay. <laughs> George sighs in relief. I'm glad you aren't exactly ex exactly annoyed with me or anything. Oh, by the way, drink. 
Uh, I'm gonna have to start peeing, so... <laughs> and then, yeah, turn to George. Um, I wonder if it's one of those things of... Um, oh, I'm right at you. Hmm. Didn't feel any pain, you opened your eyes and saw... George, got his bow up, fired his... Oh! So we got that one wrong. Okay, I'm... I'm... Really glad you're okay. I'm trying to see. Oh, so something doesn't- it doesn't seem like... It changes anything if you yeah. don't... Yeah. So that one was the same. Of course I remember you. Yeah, so that one's the same as well. We can go through and get all of the wrong answers. Yeah, so we're gonna go here. Um... So we're gonna go, I'm not really interested in talking. Think? Or do we yeah. want to do like the passive one? <sighs> okay, so do we want to kill him? <laughs> Let's do the passive at the moment. Let's see what the passive okay. one does. Um, it was a question that had stayed in your mind to ever since you fell into the realm. How did you all even start? Let's start. George seemed to not anticipate this question since his cheeks and ears were tinged with rosy pink. About that... It was kind of my fault. It was an hour in the code that we were just trying to get out right then, and I activated it before Dream told me, just to check if it would work properly, and all of a sudden we woke up in this world. Yeah, for George failed so bad. Yeah, it's like <laughs> that you failed so bad at writing code that you straight up teleport all of you and your friends into a separate realm. Have you yeah, ever me failed so bad at writing code that you broke the laws of known science? Yeah. I'm um, sorry, I'm just replying to thing for the thing. Um, thing for the thing? What? Yeah. Thing for the thing. You might see it. Um, oh no. Anyways, go on. One second, I'm looking to see if there's a thing for the thing. Oh, it's, um, cause... it's just me cute SMP. It's fine. Oh. Nothing important. Oh my gosh, okay, thank goodness. I thought it was the other thing for the meat cute because I haven't actually recorded my part and I have oh. to do that after the stream. Oh, right. Maybe I shouldn't have tested it. He sheepishly answered, regretting lacing his words. You assure him that whatever he had done wasn't his fault. Ah! A weird glitch in the system <laughs> that had teleported all of you into the gate. No person can actually pull that off intentionally. George looked at you properly before giving you a small smile as he understood your intentions. He thanked you, but his voice was a, a low, as low as a whisper. Everyone stopped walking. Okay, so skip. Um, library. Skip. Um, thanks for the donut. Yeah, would let's be do the neutral option. Yeah, let's do neutral. So skip. Um, George, skip. Um, let's get. Yeah. Okay. Didn't feel any pain. You opened your eyes and saw. Uh, okay. So. Did we get the same ending again? I think so. How hard is it to fail? Okay. We're gonna fly for you right now. Okay. 
I don't think there's any way you can't get the- I'm booking a flight for you right now. Um, let's do all the bad. What even- I'm not really interested in talking. George looked crescent-fallen at your response. Somebody wait, pulled out the source for that one. There are more questions before this one. Yeah, so let's- I was thinking of just, like, seeing if there's any difference. Like, if we could actually fail twice and still be okay. Because this so far seems like a very easy way to, like, fail almost. Um, anyways. George looked across and fallen at your response. He had thought you two were getting along just fine. Oh. Sorry. I must have assumed. I'll drop it. You look away, feeling awkward. Down the library. Skip. Um, you're okay. Um, turn to George. You know, we're really giving George mixed signals. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think we got a good ending for that one as well. Yeah. You know, half the game we're like, we love you, and then at the end we're like, we hate you, actually. Yeah. We're like, mm, but as a friend. <laughs> okay, no, so- No, not even but as a friend, but we were just like, but as the only person I can literally talk to. Okay, so not really, they bore me. You just can't seem to get into what other people like about novels. They're just pieces of paper with some made-up story stringed along into it. George seemed to be frowned at this. Jeez, can the music get softer? I cannot <laughs> think. Um, George seemed to frown at this, but when you took a proper look at him, traces of the negative expression have fallen in mere seconds. Yeah, I think this stupid too. Oh um, no, George, you're an idiot. Um, he sounded as if you're biting something back. He wanted to pry, but decided against it. Okay, now we can skip. Uh. George, skip, skip. Um, oh, we didn't get this part. Yeah, we did. Oh. No, They're I mean, like, fine. we didn't, um... We oh, didn't... save it! Yeah, wait. No, we did. I just didn't go to that bit. Whoops. Um, yeah. Sure. Anyways, fine. we're just gonna do the, um... They're, They're fine. fine. Um, you wouldn't prefer to be alone, but you wouldn't prefer to be around them a lot, either. People come and go. George hums passively at your curt tones. I'm actually curious. Hmm. Not as easy as I thought. Is there in one? His tone sounded more guarded than before, but you paid no mind to it. Let's head back. You nodded before walking right behind him, following the path right towards the room portal. Okay, so we can just skip. This is George. Skip. Piglins. Skip. George. Skip. Um. Now we're leading to talking. Skip. Library. Skip. There. Okay. Skip. <laughs> oh, wow. No matter how much of a jerk we are to George, is he just going to confess his love to us? Like, yeah. I really like you. I've been nothing but a jerk to you this entire time. Can you please back off? Curious. I'm trying to see if how many endings there are. 
Um, I'm almost positive there are nine different three, endings cause... to achieve that could see whole manners of things playing out. Okay. Yeah, there are three yeah. endings for each. Can you look up how to get those? Because I feel like just guessing and hoping for the best. Okay, you heard of. I'm. Don't feel any. I'm almost positive the way you get the endings are pick all the good options. Pick all the bad options, and then pick all of the, like... Middle options? Lukewarm options. Okay. Oh, there. George. He had a smile on his face. His teeth were clenched. Not out of breath as she glanced up at his health bar. <gasps> yes! No, Finally, no, the bad end. No, no, no! The remaining hearts in his health bar had begun to flash white before disappearing altogether caught him as he fell forward right into your arms. You held him as he closely as you can. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> you, like, tell me, that is not the face of like, hi, how's it going? <laughs> you felt so oh, like, oh, you dying down here? Can I oh, do it? How's it going? Oh, did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> um, you felt so light, you noticed that there were specks of colors appearing around him. There were pixels. He was disappearing into the tiniest of particles. Cozy! What? You're oh, alive! George! <laughs> Jim exclaimed before landing a final hit onto the dragon. Lots of screeches and little cheats, light portal excreting, things happen. We all know that that's what happens. Um, Sapnap had immediately ran to your side. George? George, stay with us. Don't screw around. George only let out a weak giggle, his body beginning to glitch out as he tries to poke Sapnap's cheeks lightheartedly. Dream hurries over to you, your area, holding his other hand. Come on, guys. It was better me than any of you. No, let the rando die. <laughs> like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want you having to experience any of this. George, stop being an idiot for one. We barely know this other chick. What the heck? <laughs> we begin to tear up when both Dream and Sapnep have begun to weep for their best friend. Stop fooling around, George. You're coming with us. You're coming with us. Just... Just shut up and just come with us. The portal's by your si our side. Ooh, that's pretty. I know. Hey. Guys, you all look way better with smiles on your faces. Just throw his limp body into the portal. <laughs> Yeah, but then he's gonna, like, come back, like, without a neck, or, like, missing a toe or something. <laughs> so my clothes kind of look like they glitched out, so, like, you can't see some bits, so I'm gonna go change real quick before I start to dream. <laughs> let, let, let's try that, yeah? Smile for me. Dream let out a sob, and Sapnap could only sniffle, sniffle, but the two of them tried their hardest to give George what he wanted. They always did. They all had the biggest smiles they could ever muster. George grinned back. I knew I could always count on you too. He then turned to you. Oh, drink. Ten. Tansy Smasher 300. I knew you for like 20 minutes and I killed myself for you. Um, are you freaking happy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Tap. To have annoyed or burdened you in any way. But I only have one last request for you since you did kill me and all. Yeah. Drink. Mm. Could you please take care of these two for me? Nah. You know, the chick that was just a jerk to you the oh, entire yeah. time. It was like, mm, let's be friends. <laughs> I don't want to talk. I don't like books either. Um, 
I also hate my friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I hate my own friends, what makes you think I'm gonna take care of your friends? <laughs> like, this will be a parasocial gonna... relationship here, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they're probably gonna hate me because I'm the reason for your death. Uh -huh. Before you can even give him a response, his body collapsed into collapses into thin air. The last thing you saw was a pleased smile on his face. Dream and Sapnap had spontaneously let out loud wails as they began to lower themselves to the ground where their best friend used to be. You sat there, motionless and unable to properly comprehend what just had happened. Felt numb, but you also began to shed your own share of tears. You knew the guy for like 20 seconds, so I was like, he's my best friend. <laughs> um, all three had stayed there a bit longer, allowing yourselves to grieve for a little longer. After a while, after a few moments, Dream took a shaky stance up, yeah, while wiping the tears away from his face. He reaches out to both of you, Sapnap to help you and Sapnap to help you both up to your feet. Jeez. Come on. We have to go. I'm so curious why they couldn't just like, like heave ho his body into the portal, but fine. Um, or why he didn't just like die. Um, he kept his grip on both of your sleeves and Seth. He, he both your sleeve he and as he led all three he, of you to the exit portal. He just didn't click the exit to main menu button so he could talk to them. <laughs> you know, it was a hardcore <laughs> world. He was blacklisted from the server. Oh yeah, he was like, I have to go into spectator mode. Um, so like, give me, like, let me have like this one moment. Um, yeah. It was silent as he pulled the both of you into the vortex. It's a void. <clears throat> you woke up in your bedroom floor, clutching um, a little red chair. Or apparently, a most recent one was. Dream was taken with life. My chair was broke. Huh. Tapped on the notification, turned on the stream. Oh! Sapnap, stop laughing! I didn't laugh at you when you. S your chair up. Screwed. <laughs> Shut that, up. It's not even that bad of a word. Sapnap let out a cackle. It sounded like he was laughing so hard to the point where he had to clutch to his stomach. But I was a new moron, not only accidentally disconnected his Wi-Fi, but also leaned back to the point of breaking his own chair. The Texan continued to poke fun at his friend. Dream let out a scoff. Whatever, Sapnap. Chat, we're delaying the challenge. Me and Sapnap coded it for a bit. I don't have anything else to sit on. Wait, did George not exist in this universe now? You let out a chuckle at mm -hmm. their interactions, their chemistry with each other as a duo had always been entertaining. Though, he felt like something was missing here. Oh, yeah. Your Hypixel game. Should we really get back online? Bad ending. Oh! New player. Interesting. Okay, so we already did this bit. Okay, so let's do load. So we're gonna load from here. And we're gonna do, um, I enjoyed reading a lot or it takes my mind off of some things? It takes my mind off of some things because we already did yes. I enjoy reading okay. a lot. So we're some going lukewarm option. take too much of a toll in the real world, so you turn to the compiled pages and immerse yourself into it. George nods along. Things can get out of hand, don't they? If you'd like, I'd give you recommendations once we're out of here. Dream and Sapnap aren't exactly into the genres I like, so maybe you'd like them. You smiled at him, and he smiled back. Skip time! 
Has George ever actually, like, showed interest in reading, like, in real life? I don't know. They're a great bunch. You hang out with your friends a lot. They make you laugh without having to try hard. Sometimes they even drag you into unnecessary trouble. You inwardly roll your eyes at the fond memories. George chuckles at this. Yeah, I guess I, I guess that too. I get that too. They'd get you in all sorts of. They get you into all sorts of situations, good and bad. But I guess what's important is that you're all there for each other. The amusement echoes out of his voice. Do you agree to a statement? Let's head back. You nodded before walking right behind him. Along the path. Okay. This is George. Skip. Fight off piglins. Skip. Uh. Um, George. Skip. <laughs> <laughs> um, got into this mess. We already read this bit. George. Skip. And then it would be a the Thank you thanks for the dono. For the dono. <laughs> I will say, George's laugh, kind of cute. Um, Are we getting a potential new simp? No! <laughs> you don't feel any pain? Oh, that's Ed. And you saw... Our boy, alive. Cool. Yeah, yeah, we know, he, we know he's good. Can we skip? Being stunned, shut out giggles. Voice turned around as they heard you laugh. It's softer as they would. Okay. Well, laugh will you drop. Careful with things next time, okay? Um, first place. Not all the small pain points. Okay. Yeah. Dream colors out. Oh. No. Okay. Hey, it'll so be I'll okay. Yeah, I'll go back a bit. I think, um, um, help you see your feet, and George passes you the golden apple you dropped. Be careful with your things next time, okay, Tansy Smasher 300? He smiles at you as you nod, face flushing at your clumsiness last minute that you caused you to be endangered in the first place. Mutter are small things with proceeding a nibble of at the fruit, to which he smil his smile grew sweeter at. Alright, let's go home, guys. Dream hollers out. Sapnap approaches him, slinging his arm around him. Some weird side hug. They both laugh as they made their way towards the middle. You, on the other hand, had taken slow strides behind George. You seem to have noticed that you felt nervous. Hey. It'll be okay. We'll be back once we enter the portal. His tone was soft. How pretty. We were thankful for him understanding your feelings as you both made your way to the portal. And the black swirling vortex with particles swirling around mixing with hints of teal. One, three. We already read this part. One green to him. One. Two. Three. Three. Oh, okay, so yeah. I, I wasn't sure if that had changed much. Um. Okay. This one was George not found. Fixing my chair. George, 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 George of the jungle. George. Um. <laughs> 
Uh, George the monkey. George, curious George. Yeah. George. Um, George. Funny ass. Almost show breaking point. Wow. <sighs> okay, quick. Immediately transfer Twitter. Um, George, me, do you remember everything? Um, my first response. Yeah, we kind of gotta go through this. Um, hey, I remember you. Do you wanna hang out? Okay. Voice. Do you wanna hang out? Do you want to hang out on NC later after I fix my chair? Maybe do a challenge and record it. You hesitated, remembering what he said. Immediately, he added another response. I'll proofread the code this time, don't worry. And do two. I'll do two. Three times. I'll even get Dream and Saft app to do it. You let an amused chuckle as you type in a reply. It's okay, George. Of course I'll play with you after your stream. Wink. Um. Oh! Oh, cool! Okay. Okay, cool. Can't play. Smiley. That's a, I like you, but I'm very anxious. Um, you smile so widely that your eyes shut, bringing your phone closer to your chest. No, that's an I like you, but I know you don't like me, or at least you're yeah. very hesitant yeah. about liking me. Yeah. You can't wait for the challenge. Platonic ending. But you were found. Okay. Skip. See you next time. Alright, so let's hit start. Wait, so we've done all endings. Do we want to call it a day? Yeah, because I still have to... Because it okay. is 3.20 for me, and I still have to do that, that thing that I was supposed to do, like, two days Fair. ago. Fair. Um, well, yeah. That was actually kind of fun. We need to do that again. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Um, but tomorrow, are we still game? We still doing the, um, oh, 100 live stream for me? Yes, of course. Because I think I officially add... have more followers than Oliver, I think. We never, um, uh, do you still want me to put together my list of... Um, I think I do have an idea of what I want to be a, um, oh, what is it called? Like, oh. Should you finish your stream before we talk about yeah. this? It's fine. Um, I already have an idea for a fic I want to do. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. But yeah, I'll end stream real quick. Okay. Talk to you all later. Love you all. My lovely, lovely flowers. Bye!